Patch CrossStitch provides tools and techniques for editing designs. We'll start with selecting and locking stitches, and then we'll look at simple stitch editing. In order to edit an area of a design, you must first select it. Patch CrossStitch provides a number of ways to select cross stitches. It also lets you lock cross stitches and or outlines so they're not moved or edited by accident. So I'm going to click on Select Object, and I want to select this leaf. So all I need to do is drag around it, and anything that is included in that rectangle will get selected. Now that I have it selected, I could delete it, I could move it, I can do whatever I want with it. Now sometimes you can't select something you want with a rectangle. Now if I want to select just this leg, I can't drag a rectangle around it without selecting part of this other leg. I'll press Escape to release the tool, and this time I'll click the Polygon Select tool. And now I just need to click around here, press Enter, the leg is selected, and I can do whatever I want with it. Now we also have the Auto Select tool. This tool is specific to Hatch Cross Stitch. It allows you to select a single color block or a closed undigitized area. Only adjoining stitches of the same color are selected. So I'll click the tool. I'm going to click on this stem here. I don't know if you can see this, but I have a dotted line that's going around just this part. So it did not select this part, and it did not select this part, although to us, it looks like it should. These are only touching on a corner. It has to touch on a side. So I can press Delete on that, and it gets all of that. Now notice that it deleted the outline too. If I want to preserve the outline, I'll go up here to Edit, and I'll uncheck Outlines. This will lock the outlines. I'll click the Auto Select tool, click the area again, press Delete, and now only the inside stitches got deleted. And I can keep deleting areas. Now what if I want to delete the outlines but leave the stitches? I'll go back to the Edit menu, turn on Outlines, uncheck Crosses. I'll select All, and press Delete. Now I've deleted just the outlines, and I have just my cross stitches. Once you've made a selection, I'll just select the entire rows here. We're now able to cut it, copy it, and paste it. Of course, to paste it, we have to cut it or copy it first. I'll copy it, and I'll paste it. And it's stacked right on top of the original, so I just need to move it off. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'll click the Zoom tool, we'll zoom in, and this time I want to color this rose a different color than this one. I'll use the Auto Select tool, I'll click on that red, I'll hold down the Control key, and click on this red, and I'll right click on the colors, maybe I'll make it orange, left click on the pink, Hold down the Control key, left click again, maybe we'll make this peachy color. Left click on this one. I'm going to have to Control click on each one of those. And this time I'll change the color, and I'll change the stitch type. Now we also have the Eraser tool. So let's see how that works. I'm going to make sure that I have both outlines and crosses turned back on. I'll click the Eraser tool. You can also erase by holding down the right mouse button with the Pencil tool. I'll make sure that I have Fill selected on the Stitch and Color bar. And then I'll just click and drag. And notice that as I do this, it's only deleting the crosses. It's not deleting my outline. If I want to delete my outline, I'll click on the outline, and now I'll drag my pencil over that. And of course you can just click, or you can drag. So 
So remember, we're working with stitches in cross stitch. We don't have objects. The pencil tool will do fine selections. If you want to do a bigger selection, use one of these tools. So I could drag around, delete. I can do a selection like that and delete. And I can also delete with the polygon tool. In the next lesson, we'll look at transforming stitch blocks.